Xin chào tất cả mọi người, mình là Phương và mọi người hay gọi mình là Miss Phương Ngày hôm nay mình sẽ uh, làm một cái video demo Phương cái IELTS Listening Mock Test cho mọi người uh, Video này uh, mình mong là sẽ thật sự giúp ích và mang lại giá trị thật sự cho tất cả các bạn Bởi vì mình biết cái quá trình để mà luyện thi IELTS nó rất là vất vả Bởi vì nó đòi hỏi các bạn cần phải có cái kiến thức và cái kỹ năng Vừa phải có language test, uh, language ability mà vừa cũng phải có test ability Kỹ năng về ngôn ngữ và kỹ năng về làm đề Cho nên là mình sẽ uh, làm demo cho các bạn Một cái bài full IELTS listening mock test luôn Thì cái này nó sẽ y như là cái bài thi chúng ta thi thật Ở các cái center Alright Thì các bạn cũng biết là IELTS listening test thì có 4 phần Part 1 2, 3, and 4 The real IELTS listening test consists of 4 parts 4 phần ha Và chúng ta sẽ có 10 phút để transfer cái đáp án Sau khi chúng ta điền cái đáp án ở trong cái booklet Thì mình lấy ví dụ như uh, Ở đây Đây các bạn thấy cái màn hình ha IELTS listening test ở đây là cái recording của họ thì đương nhiên là trong phần thi nghe thật thì các bạn sẽ được phát cái headphone Thì cái lợi ích của cái headphone là chúng ta có thể điều chỉnh âm thanh to nhỏ tùy Tùy theo cái volume của chúng ta ha Thì cái đó là một cái rất là thuận lợi Nó không như cái uh, và chúng ta sẽ được nghe từ cái speaker ha Nó rất là to Cho nên là chúng ta cứ bình tĩnh, uh, tự tin mà chúng ta làm bài Ok Và nhớ giúp mình là sau khi chúng ta làm bài xong Thì các bạn sẽ transfer cái đáp án từ cái booklet này Qua cái answer sheet Là cái document này Mình lấy ví dụ mình làm trên cái word document Cho các bạn ha Đó Thì tương tự trong IELTS thì họ cũng sẽ để cho các bạn cái answer sheet Và numbers rất là rõ ràng từ number 1 to 40 Tương ứng với 40 câu trong cái booklet Alright Nhưng mà ở đây á Để tiết kiệm thời gian Thì mình sẽ uh, Lược bỏ cái 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 đáp án Trong cái booklet Mình sẽ không có type trên cái booklet Mà mình sẽ type trực tiếp Trên cái answer sheet cho mọi người luôn Ok Để mình có thời gian Mình uh, nói về cái câu trả lời Trong cái phần listening Ok Now we gonna start CD2 Test 3 You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1. Section 1. You will hear a telephone conversation between a travel company employee and a customer. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Greek island holidays, can I help you? Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who's just come back from Corfu. And she's recommended some apartments in Aralus. She thought they might be on your list. Aralus, Aralus, let me see. Uh, can you give me the names? Yes, the first Rose Garden apartments. 
I'd like to go with another friend in the last week of October. Well, we've got a lovely studio flat available at that time. I'm sure you'd enjoy the entertainment program there too, with Greek dancing in the restaurant. And the cost for each of us? £219. That sounds very reasonable. I'm just jotting down some notes. Now, the second one she mentioned was called Blue Bay. Blue Bay. Yes. In fact, that's very popular, and it has some special features. Really? The main attraction is the large swimming pool with salt water. Mm, much healthier, I understand. That's right. And it isn't far from the beach, either. Only 300 metres. And only around half a kilometre to some shops, so you don't have to be too energetic. Is it much more expensive than the first one? Let me just check. I think at the time you want to go, it's around £260. Uh, no, £275 to be exact. Right, I've got that. Now, there are just two more apartments to ask you about. Um, I can't read my own writing. Something to do with sun, sunshine, is it? I think you meant the sunshade apartments. They're on a mountainside. Any special features? Yes, each room has its own sun terrace, and there are shared barbecue facilities. Oh, sounds lovely. Yes, it is rather well equipped. It also provides water sports. It has its own beach. There are facilities for water skiing. Any kite surfing? My friend's quite keen. Not at the hotel, but I'm sure you'll find some in Arillus. There's also satellite TV in the apartments. And how much is that one? £490 with two sharing. You mean £245 each? I'm afraid not. Each person has to pay that amount and there must be at least two in an apartment. Oh, I don't think that would be within our budget, unfortunately. And the last one sounds a bit expensive too. The Grand? Actually, it's quite reasonable. It's an older style house with Greek paintings in every room and a balcony outside. Sounds nice. What are the views like? Well, there are forests all round and they hide a supermarket just down the road. So that's very useful for all your shopping needs. Uh, there's a disco in the area too. And the price? £319 at that time. But if you leave it till November, it goes down by 40%. Mm, too late, I'm afraid. Well, why don't I send you a brochure with full details, Miss... Nash. But don't worry about that. I'm coming to Upminster soon, and I'll call and get one. I just wanted to get an idea first. Well, that's fine. Uh, we've got plenty here when you come. Before you hear the rest of the conversation... You have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now this is the best time for you to scheme and scan the questions 6 to 10. This one should be a number, the number, okay, maximum amount, allows a Maybe it's a now in here. Um, blah, 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 departure. Now listen and answer and questions six to now. ten. Okay. If you've got a minute, could I just check a couple of points about insurance? I got one policy through the post, but I'd like to see if yours is better. Fine. Uh, what would you like to know? Well, the one I've got has benefits and then the maximum amount you can claim. Is that like yours? Yes, that's how most of them are. Well, the first thing is cancellation. If the holiday's cancelled on the policy I've got, you can claim £8,000. We can improve on that, Miss Nash. Uh, for Greek island holidays, our maximum is £10,000. That's good. Of course, our holiday won't even cost £1,000 together. It's still sensible to have good cover. Now, if you go to hospital, we allow £600. Yes, mine's similar. And we also allow a relative to travel to your holiday resort? My policy just says their representative will help you. You can see there's another difference there. And what happens if you don't get on the plane? Uh, nothing, as far as I can see on this form. 
Don't you have a uh, missed departure? No, I'll just jot that down. We pay up to a thousand pounds for that, depending on the reason. And we're particularly generous about loss of personal belongings, up to three thousand pounds, but not more than five hundred pounds for a single item. Then I'd better not take my laptop. Not unless you insure it separately. Okay, thanks very much for your time. You've really been helpful. Can I get back to you? Your name is Ben Ludlow. That's L U D L O W. I'm the assistant manager here. I'll give you my number. It's O eight one two six O five four three two one six. But didn't I phone O eight one two six O five six seven two nine four? That's what I've got on the paper. That's the main switchboard. I've given you my direct line. Right. Thank you very much for your time. So now we're going to move to part two. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Theme park came from childhood hobby, interest, landscape design. Now turn to section park. two. When the story of family decided to open the park only when section two. the weather expected to be good. You will hear a talk on local radio about a children's theme park. Fewer family First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 13. Nếu mà mình đọc càng nhanh thì mình sẽ có lợi về mặt thời gian để mình đọc cái câu hỏi khác ha. Five answer. People in here write the correct letter. Advertising. Now listen here. carefully and answer questions 11 to 13. For the second in our series about locally run businesses, we meet Simon Winridge co-founder of the hugely successful Winridge Forest Railway Park. Welcome, Simon. Now, perhaps you can begin by telling us a little bit about how it all started. Well, during the 1970s, my wife Liz and I had just acquired 80 acres of sheep farming land, and we decided to settle down and have children. Pretty soon, we had a daughter, Sarah, and a son, Duncan. The place was wonderful for the kids. They particularly loved trains and gradually built up an enormous network of miniature railway track. I began to develop larger scale models of locomotives, but we didn't think anything more of it until I went on a trip to a theme park near Birmingham and decided we could do a much better job. So we set up a small one ourselves, based on the miniature railway, and we opened to the public for just a month that year, 1984, in July, our driest month, because our children said they didn't want our guests to have a miserable wet visit. I dealt with park business and Liz carried on with the farm work. It soon became clear that we were on to a winner. We began to extend the railway track and lay it among more interesting landscape by planting trees, which in turn attracted more wildlife and by making cuttings through the rock. But nowadays, we're open all year round, and we're pleased to say that Wimridge is one of the most popular visitor attractions in the area, with 50,000 visitors a year. A million and a half people have been through our doors since we opened. A million and Before a half. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 14 to 20. Staffing thì giống như là bên HR là bên nhân sự ha. Sales thì maybe là marketing something related to marketing. Retails maybe. Food and drink engine. Chemicals. Building maybe construction. 
Any more care, advertising? Now listen Education and answer one. questions 14 to 20. All these visitors mean we have had to expand our operation, and it's now a truly family concern. I'm near to retirement age, so I only concern myself with looking after the mechanical side of things, keeping the trains going. Liz now devotes all her energies to recruiting and supporting the large squadron of workers, which keep the place running smoothly. We're really pleased that, after some years away teaching, Sarah has now returned to the park and makes sure the visitors are kept fed and watered, which keeps her pretty busy, as you can imagine. <laughs> Our son Duncan has been a stalwart of the park for the last ten years, taking over from me in the area of construction. And I'll say a little bit more about that in a moment. And his new wife, Judith, has also joined the team in charge of retail. That's becoming a tremendous growth area for us. A lot of people want to buy souvenirs. Mm -hmm. So have you finished your development of the site for the moment? Not at all. We're constantly looking for ways to offer more to our visitors. The railway remains the central feature. And there's now 1.2 kilometers of the line laid, but we'd like to lay more. Now, because of the geology of the area, our greatest problem is digging tunnels. But we're gradually overcoming that. And we're also very pleased with a new installation of the go-kart arena, which is 120 square meters in area. Oh. Again, the problem is the geology. We had to level the mounds on the track for safety reasons. We wanted to enable 5 to 12 year olds to use the go-karts. And the main attraction five here is the Formula five One to kart. Years old. We've known fights to break out over who gets it. <laughs> and then, finally, to our most recent development, which is the landscape. So now we're going to move to part three. Các bạn nhớ là that is the end of section two. And guess part two. You now have half a minute to check three. your answers. Yes. Đấy, bây giờ là mình không có check nữa mà mình move on part 3 và mình read the questions from 21 to 30. Dissertation, strengths, poor, something, benefits, problems, benefits thì có thể là advantages, problems thì có thể là disadvantages hoặc là drawbacks. Now turn to section 3. Section 3. A blank head, huh? You will hear a geography student called Caroline discussing her dissertation with her tutor. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 23. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 23. Ah, Caroline. Come on in, sit down. Thanks. So how's the dissertation planning going? Well, Dr. Shulman, I'm still having a lot of trouble deciding on a title. Well, that's perfectly normal at this stage. And this is what your tutorials will help you to do. Right. What we'll do is jot down some points that might help you in your decision. First of all, you have chosen your general topic area, haven't you? Yes, it's the fishing industry. Oh yes, that was one of the areas you mentioned. Now, what aspects of the course are you good at? Well, I think I'm coping well with statistics, and I'm never bored by it. Good. Anything else? Well, I found computer modeling fascinating. Mm -hmm. I have no problem following what's being taught, whereas quite a few of my classmates find it difficult. Well, that's very good. Do you think these might be areas you could bring into your dissertation? Oh, yes, if possible. It's just that I'm having difficulty thinking how I can do that. You see, I feel I don't have sufficient background information. I see. Well, do you take notes? 
I'm very weak at note-taking. My teachers always used to say that. Well, I think you really need to work on these weaknesses before you go any further. What do you suggest? Before you hear the rest of the tutorial, you have some time to look at questions 24 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 24 to 30. Well, I can go through the possible strategies with you and let you decide where to go from there. Okay, thanks. Well, some people find it helpful to organize peer group discussions. You know, each week a different person studies a different topic and shares it with the group. Oh, right. It really helps build confidence. Yeah. You know, having to present something to others. I can see that. The drawback is that everyone in the group seems to share the same ideas. They keep being repeated in all the dissertations. Okay. You could also try a service called Student Support. Mm -hmm. It's designed to give you a structured program over a number of weeks to develop your skills. Sounds good. Yes. Unfortunately, there are only a few places. Ah. But it's worth looking into. Yes, of course. I know I've got to work on my study skills. And then there are several study skills books you can consult. Right. They'll be a good source of reference. But the problem is, uh, they are sometimes too general. Yes, that's what I've found. Other than that, uh, I would strongly advise quite simple ideas, uh, like using a card index. Well, yes, I've never done that before. Uh, it's simple, but it really works because you have to get points down in a small space. Hmm. Another thing I always advise is don't just take your notes and forget about them. Read everything three times. That'll really fix them in your mind. Yes. I can see it would take discipline, but... Well, if you establish good study skills at this stage, they'll be with you all your life. Oh, yes, I completely agree. Mm. It's just that I don't seem to be able to discipline myself. I need to talk things over. Mm, well, uh, we'll be continuing these tutorials, of course. Uh, let's arrange next month's now. Let's see. Um, I can see you virtually any time during the week starting uh, the 22nd of January. Um, what about the 24th? Mm. I'm free in the afternoon. Uh, sorry, I'm booked then. Uh, what about the following day? Uh, the first day, yeah. I can make the morning. Fine. We'll go for the 25th then. That's great. Thanks. So now... That is the end, the end of section of three. Part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. So we use half a minute to move on to part four. Skimming and scanning for question 31 to 32 and 33 to 40. The owners of the underground no experience of living in rural areas just a professional project manager and was too cheap being extracted with the Now turn to section 4. Improve your Section 4. Produce you will hear part of a lecture about an experimental design for a house. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40.
Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Good morning. In the last few lectures, I've been talking about the history of domestic building construction. But today, I want to begin looking at some contemporary experimental designs for housing. So, I'm going to start with a house which is constructed more or less under the ground. And one of the interesting things about this project is that the owners, both professionals but not architects, wanted to be closely involved, so they decided to manage the project themselves. Their chief aim was to create somewhere that was as environmentally friendly as possible. But at the same time, they wanted to live somewhere peaceful. They'd both grown up in a rural area and disliked urban life. So the first thing they did was to look for a site, and they found a disused stone quarry in a beautiful area. The price was relatively low, and they liked the idea of recycling the land, as it were. As it was, the quarry was an ugly blot on the landscape, and it wasn't productive any longer either. They consulted various architects and looked at a number of designs before finally deciding on one. As I've said, it was a design for a sort of underground house, and it was built into the earth itself, with two stories. The north, east, and west sides were set in the earth, and only the sloping south-facing side was exposed to the light. That was made of a double layer of very strong glass. There were also photovoltaic tiles fixed to the top and bottom of this sloping wall. These are tiles that are designed to store energy from the sun. And the walls had a layer of foam around them too to increase the insulation. Now, what is of interest to us about this project is the features which make the building energy efficient. Sunlight floods in through the glass wall and to maximize it, there are lots of mirrors and windows inside the house. That helps to spread the light around. So that's the first thing. Light is utilized as fully as possible. In addition, the special tiles on the outside convert energy from the sun and generate some of the house's electricity. In fact, and it is possible that in future the house may even generate an electricity surplus and that the owners will be able to sell some to the national grid. As well as that, wherever possible, recycled materials have been used. For example, the floors are made of reclaimed wood and the owners haven't bought a single item of new furniture. They just kept what they already had. And then there's the system for dealing with the waste produced in the house. This is dealt with organically. It's purified by being filtered through reed beds, which have been planted for that purpose in the garden. So the occupants of the house won't pollute the land or use any damaging chemicals. It's true that the actual construction of the house was harmful to the environment, mainly because they had to use massive amounts of concrete, one of the biggest sources of carbon dioxide in manufacturing. And, as you know, this is very damaging to the environment. In total, the house construction has released 70 tons of carbon dioxide into the air. Now that's a frightening thought. However, once the initial debt has been cleared and it's been calculated that this will only take 15 years, this underground house won't cost anything, environmentally I mean, because unlike ordinary houses, it is run in a way that is completely environmentally friendly. So, 
Eco housing like this is likely to become much more. That is the end of section four. You now have half a minute to check your answers. All right. So this is the end of the IELTS listening mock test. Now I'm gonna stop it, and then we're gonna check the answer. Okay. Oh, it has the answer here. Now, part one, three hundred sunshade balcony forest. 319 Các bạn nhớ nha, ở đây mình nói uh, chút xíu 319 Nó khác với 390 319 Mình nhấn âm 2 ha Còn nó là 390 sẽ là 390 90 Ok Rồi 10,000 relative miss Item lợi lâu Rồi Part 2 Part 2 thì hầu như là MCQ Multiple Choice Question ha? C A C E H F C G 120 5 to 12 Good Part 3 Fishing Industry Ở đây Part 3 là Fill in the blank Họ cho mình là viết No more than two words Tức là không nhiều hơn hai từ Tức là một hoặc là hai từ ha. Fishing industry Statistics No taking Confidence Ở đây á, chắc là mình quay lại chút xíu Cái phần đề đi Trong IELTS thì họ hay sử dụng nhiều uh, Các cái synonyms Mình lấy ví dụ nhé Part 3, đây Ví dụ thay vì họ nói là Increase confidence Họ không nói vậy mà họ nói là Build up confidence Thì cũng như nhau ha To contain the same ideas Thì họ nói là to share the same ideas Đó Student support Limited places Thì họ nói là a few Only a few places Tức là chỉ có vài chỗ thôi Thì hay nói cách khác là cái chỗ cái nơi, cái chỗ nó bị giới hạn Ok Đấy, tương tự ha Những cái khác cũng vậy Rồi, general 3 times 25th Ở đây á, cái ngày á, tổng cộng là Nó có ba cái distracting answer Nó có ba cái câu trả lời Nó làm cho mình rất là confused Thứ nhất là 22nd Thứ hai là 24th Và cuối cùng mới là 25th Là the following day của 24th. Vậy thì mình phải nghe cho nó kỹ ha. Next tutorial date, the the correct answer is 25th. Rồi, part 4. Part 4 này nó hơi lạ là thông thường part 4 của mình sẽ là get fill hoặc là fill in the blank, có nghĩa là mình chỉ có điền chữ thôi. Như ở đây thì nó cũng cái bài test uh, bài mock test này nó có hai câu của MCQ thì thôi mình cứ làm ha Rồi 31 là B Tại vì ở đây nó nói về cái việc là environmental friendly ha Cái người owner họ có interested in environmental issues 32 là the land was quite cheap Ở đây nó nói khá là rõ là cái price là cheap, rẻ Cái giá đất rẻ Rồi 33 Class Ở đây nó không nói là two layers Mà nó nói là double layers ha Thì cũng như nhau thôi Double layers hoặc là two layers of class Strong class Improve the insulation Rồi 35 Mirrors and windows 36 là electricity 37 là floors cái sàn nhà ha Recycle wood là cái gỗ được tái chế Thì được sử dụng cho làm các cái sàn nhà 
Rồi cho nên là ở đây mình sẽ là floors Floors số nhiều nhé Số ít là bị sai mình Các bạn sẽ bị mất điểm Cho nên cố gắng nhớ dành cho mình Singular, plural Mình nghe được singular thì mình ghi singular now Nếu mình nghe plural now thì mình ghi plural now Ok 38 Waste Có nghĩa là Cái cái uh, Domestic waste là cái cái Hệ thống Sản xuất những cái uh, Giống như là mấy cái rác thải mà uh, Nộ bổ ha. Waste nó cũng giống như cái rác thải thôi It's organic Organic là chất hữu cơ ha. Large quantities of concrete In construction Rồi Environmental debt within 15 years Rồi mình xem có đây có đúng không ha Yes, waste, concrete Yep, 15 years So all correct Rồi Các bạn nhớ giúp mình sau khi các bạn làm xong nhớ check Spelling Ha Có nhiều bạn bị mất điểm trong cái phần transfer cái đáp án nó rất là phí Alright So thanks for your watching And uh, if you like my video, please like, subscribe and share this video to others. Nếu mà các bạn thích cái video của mình và các bạn thấy video của mình là helpful, uh, hữu ích thì các bạn like, đăng ký và share, chia sẻ video này với những người xung quanh để cho mình có thêm động lực uh, sản xuất ra các cái video có nhiều giá trị và hay hơn uh, giúp cho các bạn củng cố và nâng cao kiến thức cũng như các kỹ năng khi uh, chúng ta đi thi uh, định cư hoặc là cho phục vụ cho công việc và học tập của mình Alright, thanks for your watching and see you for the upcoming video Bye